Hey, this is Anthony from West Coast Custom Concrete, the best in the West. This is a video in Huntington Beach, California. This is a cantilever steps with an entryway and a cantilever porch. When I got hired for this job, it was already set up. So um, when we got there, we already knew the dimensions and what they wanted. We just had to tear it down and redo it because they, it was all in, they had it all set up for one pour, and you can't pour it in one pour because you can't strip and face the the steps. So you have to leave two of the steps open. You'll see it coming up. And we used four by fours because they wanted a three inch, three and a half inch lip under the cantilever. So that's, we just used four by fours in the bottom. That's key to this. The way it was set up before was with like two by fours underneath and there's no way you could strip it and face it. The whole thing was um, not set up right. But anyway, we had to reset it all up, but it was already demoed out. So that was a good thing. We just tore the wood down and that's a planner in each one. Each step, they have a planter. They're going to put like a tea tree in. It's going to look badass. They got a, um, LED lights. The owner came, found these lights that were magnetic. So what we did was we put an inch and a half angle iron in there. with a with a with um, He welded a 45 on it to, to grab onto the concrete. So when we stripped the forms, the angle iron's at the bottom of the cantilever. And then the magnetic strip lights, the LEDs just go underneath it. And they cover all three corners, this, each side and the front. They just snap together and they're magnetic. They stick up. I'll do a um, go back and refilm it when it's all done with the landscaping and um, the lights in it and everything. So we're resetting this up here. Like I said, you got to do it in two pours. Generally with steps and, and um, stairs and stuff, we use screws. But anything else, we use duplex nails. But it's easier to strip this. We stripped it and faced it that day, but we left a 2x4 until the next day. The Excuse me, the 4x4 under each lip. You'll see how we did it. You can see under there with the 4x4. Milton's cutting them up. I got Milton, Javier, and uh, Milton's son. Javier is a master carpenter. So for him, not many guys can set this up. There's a lot of guys that say they can, and I pumped a lot of them for a lot of contractors. And I'm here to tell you they can't. So this is this is done right. This is how you do it. So when you see this setup and the way we strip it, you'll know how to do it. And the boxes, the planters in each one, we put it. We they they made them a little bit smaller than what they were, which was a good idea to do it. They were a little too big. So that's going to be the planter box in two of the steps. He's going to put some cool little tea trees in. It. It's kind of like almost a palm with a red top on it, looking plant. And we um, put handles on that uh, boards across that planter, and then we put foam around it. We oiled the foam, so when we stripped it, we just pulled that planter straight up and out, and it came right out. I'd never done it that way, and neither had Javier or Milton, but I think Milton came up with that, and it pulled right out. You just kind of put foam around it, around the forms, and oil them or diesel them, I mean, and then just pull it straight up and out, and it came right out. I actually didn't get that on film because I showed up late the next day. Here's Greg Johnson bringing the mud. He's back. This is about five, I think this was five and a half yards or something like that. The first pour. The second pour was two and a half. The other two steps we did. This front entry is cantilever too. They had a, a, a landscape architect draw it out and he gave me the drawing of it, but this wasn't cantilevered the front porch, so we just cantilevered her and uh, Ray, the owner, liked it. John from um, Oceanfront Builders um, brought me out here, so if you guys want a knowledgeable, reliable contractor for remodels and room additions, I'll leave his number down in the descri description. And the metal's right there, so Javier is holding that angle iron because it's got it can't move. And it's got the, like I said, the all thread screws to it sticking out 45. You welded them on. The general contractor did. And we just set it perfect on that edge. So when we pulled the 2 by 4 underneath, underneath the cantilever is a one and a half inch angle iron. So you can um, stick the, the uh, um, lights up on it. I'll show the lights and everything when they're in there and how they pop out and how they connect together. But he's got to get all the landscaping done and stuff. And I'm on a bunch of other jobs, so I haven't gone back to do it. He hasn't got them in yet. I actually stopped by today. Where I'm washing it out here. So we'll be um, stripping this and facing it. Set up pretty good. We got 1% of polar set in this. I didn't put two. 
because there's a lot of stripping and facing on it. This thing came out, I mean, this is another example of the best in the West. I know everybody can do these, but they do everything but post videos of it. Milton Bull floating this out. I think he's throwing a Fresno, yeah, he's throwing a Fresno on it. The way it's jointed up and the way it is, it's super, it's elegant. It looks really good. If I was going to redo the front of my house, this is a style entry I would do. It's all a personal opinion. You like it, but I really like the cantilever front on them. It's not too hard of a job because it was demoed. I did the driveway also too. I'll show a video of that. I did a driveway after I finished the driveway after I finished these steps. They're just tooling this thing out. See, we, you can see on the bottom we left a four by four in there. Put a real light broom on it. It doesn't rain much in California, different parts of the area of the country with um, rain and freeze and stuff. You need a heavier broom. You can use this um, type of broom out here and put a light one on it. It really stays consistent. Doesn't get all gummed up. See, that's a 4x4 four four in the bottom. We'll just pull that the next day. We use sand around the 4x4 four four around the perimeter so concrete wouldn't boil underneath it. There were sandbags on the job, so we just cut them and put them around the, the whole um, perimeter of the job, of the step so sand won't go underneath I mean, concrete won't go underneath it. And we're just ripping these to stick up under the cantilever. You got to, um, when you reset the other one, you got to put a little sliver underneath the, the edge. It was about an inch and a half gap, I believe, three and a half deep. But this was drawn up by a landscape architect. I didn't come up with this, but... I've seen this design in Newport Beach a lot. Dover Shores and Newport Coast has this style a lot. So we're setting the other two stairs up because like I said, you can't pour it all in one pour because it's impossible to face it and strip it. And you would lock the four by fours underneath, which would de decompose and rot. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking, but you can't do it that way. This is only about... I think we ordered two yards for the the second day, the second pour here. After today, the next day, I, I demoed the driveway out and poured it. See, that's going to just fit underneath that lip, that wood going across. So he just put a 4x4 four four to the left here, and then he ripped a sliver to put underneath there. This is an A-plus crew. And just use screws, it's so much easier to strip it. And you won't chip it or be pulling, yanking on nails or nothing. It works, it works a lot better. Stairs or steps, always use screws. This is one of my favorite videos I've done. This, I really like this look. I'm going to just tighten this up. This thing is, I think the whole job took us about... With the driveway, everything about six days, something like that. But it was already laid out, so we didn't have to come up with a game plan or nothing. It was, I asked the owner Ray if that's how you want it. He said that's exactly how he wanted it. So we just took all the forms and rebar out and just reset it up. Next pour is pretty easy. It's only two steps. Here I am on the second pour. The old one, five forty-five. A little brisk out that day. 60's freezing to me. This is going to be quick today. We got my buddy Johnson again. Pumping this down. I don't know what slump that is. It's a 3,000 straight cement. No fly out. Should all bleached out. You see how quick the other pour. These last two steps didn't bleach as quick. I was there today and they... They were just starting to take off, but the other one's immediately bleached straight out like that. That's only like a day old, right where Javier's standing, those ones we poured them the day be or two days ago, prior to that, to this pour. This is a really nice design. Floating steps. You gotta know how to set these up, because... Once you set it up in port and you can't strip it and you're locked in, you're in trouble. 
they just call the best in the West. Chilling this down. This sand was a little bit gritty. It was a little different. I didn't know from the day before. I usually order sifted sand in it. We're just pulling these off so we can face it. When this is all done with the lights, everything, like I said, I'll, I'll come back and do another video of it. When we demoed the driveway, we pulled the rest of the forms. I demoed the driveway the next day. That will be a pretty good video, too. Can't really join in these other pads, so they sequence down. I think we put them like five feet up the walkway. I mean, that is the nicest look. Not many guys doing this. Not this clean, anyway. Just brooming that down. We're just putting a real light broom on it. He wanted a hard trial. There's a look right there. Is that nice or what? Thank you very much for watching The Best in the West.